Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a huge puppy haul showing you all of the items that I picked up for my dog. He's arriving really soon and I'm really excited to introduce him to you guys and I think it'll be really fun. He is so adorable and I want to make him nice and comfortable here so I've bought a ton of different items that he can use. So let's get right into it. The first couple of items that I pulled out of the bag were toys, so I'm just going to get started and show you guys all the toys and things like that that I bought for my dog. And if you're wondering, my dog's name will be Bailey Blue, but obviously I'm just going to call him Bailey for short, so let's get right into it. So this is the first toy. It's so cute. It's a really large plush. So this was the medium size. You get the extra small, the small, or the large but I decided to get medium just because it was a really nice sizing and it says it's meant to be a plush toy for life. I might give it to him later on, but it's just so cuddly and soft and really cozy too. And there's little squeak toys on his paws. These two items are way too cute not to pick up. So they're Dr. Seuss cat in the hat toys. So this is a really tiny one and it's perfect for Bailey to have now. And then later on, we can move on to this Dr. Seuss larger one. So obviously this one is one for Bailey's a little bit bigger, but while he's still a puppy, this will be perfect. It's so cute because it crinkles on the hat and there's also a squeak toy. And this part has a squeak toy as well. So it's really fun. And the same thing with this character. I decided to get the smaller one for Bailey when he's a pup. And then when he's a little bit older, he can use this one. This one has not, so it'll be a lot easier for him to grip on, which will be great. And I'm pretty sure there are squeak toys on here as well. These two pieces are more troll themed items. So that item over there, I thought it'd be fun. I'm probably not gonna use it, but it's a cute little headpiece that you can put on your dog so it can dress up as a troll character. I might use it. Let's see what Bailey's like, but it's just fun to have as an extra. And next to that, there's another little troll character, which is a really cute plush. And it's pretty squeaky too, and it's really nice and soft. So this will be perfect when Bailey's a pup. Of course you can't have a dog with that tennis ball, so I picked up a couple. Obviously I'll need to pick up more and more as I start to lose them or Bailey starts to rip them. So these are really tiny and they're also perfect for when he's a puppy. And then next to that, this will be really handy to have. I might not use it, but it's perfect if I'm playing fetch with him. I can get it and I can chuck the ball and it can go a lot further than what I do is throwing it. And then you can just put the ball right there and it should just release and then Bailey can go for it. Next we have some frisbees, so there's a small purple one there and there's a larger red one and it's great because they're really flimsy so it'll be really easy to grip on and also throw around and be perfect for when I take my dog to the beach. The next two items here are quite important to have, so they're really cute little accessories. They're from Kong Puffy. So this one's a little treat thing. So what you do is you put the treat inside and the dog has to try and get it out. So it's a really good challenge for them. But this one's the puppy one, so it's really soft. Like, you mean, this looks pretty hard, but compared to the larger ones, they were really firm. So this is a really good one for the puppy. Well, next to that, this is for teething. So it's a teething stick and you meant to stick the little treat inside and then they can try and get it out. So there's two different sizes here and I'll show you guys what items you can put inside. These are the little treats and they come in little Kong snacks bags. So this is the first item. It's just a regular puppy recipe and you can see that you just have to place it in there and they'll be able to chew on it. And next to that, this one's a liver recipe. So my dog might prefer a different type, but I got both just to try both of them out. And this one back here is meant to be for the long run. You can see the treats are a lot longer and they're called Kong Ziggies. This huge bag has Bailey's puppy food, so I can use this for the first couple of weeks and I can transition to another type of dog food or else I can just keep Bailey on this. It just completely depends. So this is the Advanced Pet Nutrition Puppy Plus Growth, so obviously it has to be puppy food and you can see that it's a huge bag and it will last for a while. The next couple items are for dog food. So obviously we have the water bowl and this one's a lot smaller. And what's really good about these bowls is that they're really sturdy and they have grip on the bottom. So if my dog starts pushing the bowl around, it'll stay nice and still and I got the mat anyway, just in case. So this is the water bowl. I'm planning on using this for water. And I'm planning on using this one for food and they're exactly the same, but just different sizing. And this is the mat. It's really cool because it's shaped as a bone. It's completely black and it's also really sturdy too. So it shouldn't go anywhere either. I have two different jars for pet treats and I might use one of them for different things, but this one here says pet treats on it and it's really pretty. I really do like it. I'm pretty sure I got this one just from a local store. Well, this one here was from the pet store, so it's a little bit more sturdier, 
and a lot better. So I might use this one for its pet treats and it's blue and it comes with a really cute lid too. These two items here are brushes. So this one is a cushion pin brush and this is what it looks like. It's silver and it has a great handle too. While this one here is a cushion slicker brush. This one's a lot more firmer and harder while this one's a lot softer and it also comes with a great handle too to be able to use it. Here we have a bottle full of shampoo and obviously this will be great to have when I wash Bailey and this item came for free with it. It's a little spritzer that you can spray on Bailey too. All of these items are all sprays or some sort of liquid to do with poo or chewing and that's pretty gross but this item here is called Skip to My Loo and what you do is you spray it on the grass so your dog wants to pee or poo there. I know that sounds pretty weird but it'll be interesting to try it and see if Bailey likes it or not. Next to that we have this item here, oh it just sprayed on me, and what you do is you spray it on furniture so your dog doesn't start chewing on your nice furniture, but it will be good to have and you can probably stop using it after a couple of weeks once you train your puppy. And this item here is if your puppy does pee or poo in the house you can spray it around it so that it soaks it up and cleans it, and also you want to make sure you don't want to use anything poisonous so this will be really good to have. In case if Bailey gets lost, I do have an ID tag to put on his collar, but this is what his collar will look like. It's a blue color because obviously his name is Bailey Blue, so this is what it looks like and it seems like it's great quality. And obviously we have a leash and that matches the collar. And this is an item that you use that you can put the leash inside and then you can walk it and then you can retract it as well. This piece here is a harness and this is perfect for training your puppy and next to this is an adaptive collar. They were saying to get this item for puppies so I thought it would be great to pick up too. All of these items are related to walking my dog. So the item at the end there is a treat bag. I don't have to use that for walking my dog but in case I need to take it out and I need to bring treats, that's really good because you can close it and open it too so it won't spill out. And the coloring's really pretty too. And this is a duffel bag dispenser. So this is all of its poop bags. So I bought a couple because it'll probably be pooping a lot too. And this bag design's really fun. Speaking of poop, this is a pooper scooper. It'll definitely be interesting to use as it looks pretty complicated, but I'll probably be using it a lot for my puppy. Winter is approaching in Australia and it gets pretty cold here, so I have some puffer jackets. So obviously this will be used when Bailey is a lot larger and older, and I think there's two different parts, so I don't have to use both parts, but it'll be really cozy and warm. And this one here is quite cheap, but it'll be perfect when Bailey's a little puppy, and it probably won't be using this one next year, it'll probably be moving on to this one. As I said before, it gets pretty cold here, so this will be really handy to have. It's a pet blanket and it has a really cute design on it, and on the other side it's brown. It's really soft too and it'll be really cozy for Bailey to use. And this is a microfiber drying towel for puppies, so when I give Bailey a good wash, it can use this. This item is a bench seat cover, so basically you can put it in your car if your dog's gone for a swim at the beach or at the pool. And this is what it looks like, just to show you guys the dog sitting here, and it's all strapped into the car. And if you're wondering, this is the material. It's quite soft, but it'll be pretty easy to wash, obviously, as your dog comes in wet or really dirty. So as I said, it gets really cold here in the winter, also gets really hot here in the summer, so I picked up two pet cooling mats, and you don't need to put it in the freezer or anything because it has cooling gel already in it, and when you touch it, it feels pretty cold, so I can lay this out for Bailey to rest if it does get pretty hot on a summer's day. Here are some important health items, so these are little ear wipes that you can use to clean your dog's ears. And we get a lot of ticks in Australia. If you don't know what ticks are, they kind of dig into your dog's skin and it's really dangerous for them and it's not great for them to have. So these are kind of gross, they're little tick twisters and you have to dig them in and get them out. And I'm not too keen to do that, but I really want to keep Bailey safe. So these two items are important to have. This is Bailey's actual bed, so it is a heated pet bed, as I said before it gets pretty cold here, so I thought this would be great to have, and it doesn't really have any wire sticking out so Bailey can chew on it, and it's large enough so that Bailey can grow into it, and you can also remove it to wash it too, and this is what the dog looks like in it, and you can see it's having a great time, so Bailey will have a great time with this bed too. 
Here is an enclosure. It's also like a play pet. And what I've learned is that puppies don't really like large open space because they get really overwhelmed. So for now, while it's still really tiny, we can use this little pet enclosure for it to run around in. And then when it gets a little bit older, we won't have to use it. So it's only gonna be pretty much used when it's a puppy. Last but not very least, we have this two door training crate and this will be great for Bailey to have as his little area so he can sleep there. He can just go in and out whenever he wants. Overall, as you can see, I've definitely spoiled my little puppy that's arriving soon. I just wanted to make sure he's really comfy and cozy and he has all the items he needs from toys to treats to grooming items and obviously pet beds. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos of Bailey and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.